Ugh. Dry spot. Who cares? Greetings, greetings. Blessings to all. Man, I've been getting these. Uh, you can call them downloads or just clarity or just so much awareness around these moments. Um, it's just so many things like we get these messages and we want to get them out, get them out, get them out. But <sighs> let me just breathe. This is vital to um, what we're individually and I'm grateful for, uh, let me give gratitude to the, the most high source, you know, the universe, big mama, you know, father spirit, the great spirit, you know, ancestors known and unknown, uh, all there is, you know, one and all, all in one. <sighs> Not, let me Let me express this to all of you, everyone. Nothing is an accident. Everything is divinely orchestrated. We are all a part of something so truly divine. I'm truly grateful for who I am and who I'm becoming and just the knowingness of what I am here to do on this platform. This is also pertaining to uh, what I will express. This goes to like the matriarchal, which we are coming out of that no longer in that illusion or that patriarchal uh, system, mindset. Now we, the great mother, which is represented by the matriarchal of who we are, the woman, the woman, some may call it. And um, she has taken her rightful throne. And I am seeing this as what I have experienced in my past and childhood, seeing now the importance of alchemizing or using that darkness now as to bring light to everything that um, collectively we are feeling. Uh, there's so many subjects, but I realize that this this one that it cannot be kept in you know any longer. Um, because I realize that spirit allows me to connect with, again, the feminine aspect of who I am, uh, which is, you know, a lot of women or women. Um, and I'm able now being in a place of honoring that feminine aspect, I'm, I'm able to, when I'm connecting with them, it's I'm now learning what it is to receive and, and listen but also feel where the the wounds are. Uh, so this one subject, I'm realized that, uh, so today, and um, I go into this you call UPS or whatever it is. So I'm currently creating something, a children's book. And so that being said, this this focus of the matriarchal aspect is, well, let me say this is that so much of, and like I'm walking, I'm getting this stuff, and so much of um, what we have been in, it's like the, the woman herself has been so much of, in her masculine aspect. And that is connected to not only the vibrations and the frequencies of what we know as daughter earth, or some may call it mother earth, but this ever-changing aspect of the divine feminine now we're seeing the old system that is no longer here and um, this great awakening or great awareness centered around in spirit represents the whole spirit represents holistic and so I went to UPS and saw these um, posters because Spirit's like, okay, there's something I'm guiding you to. When we're in alignment, every step that we take, every move that we make, no matter uh, what we feel is right or wrong, is actually guided by Spirit. So that being said, uh, I'm speaking to, a, you know, I just say sister in there. And uh, then we go on and she, t and she um, I, I was expressing her the idea that I want to put on postcards. Then we start to talk about how um, 
you know, I asked her, somehow we got into like her birthing or she having twins. And um, me naturally, I always go into this, um, this, this way of like expressing to the, the feminine aspect of myself, you know, the woman of how like the man, you know, how, what he had experienced, his first experience with a woman a woman was his mother or grandmother or you know whomever was a reflection of him feminine you know that aspect of who we are and then she proceeded to go into how her pregnancy was and how heartbreaking it was she even spoke about how um how uh you know her husband and her you know um you know she didn't want this to happen in the hospital with this doctor being there and so much of just um it, it what i what i was what i listened and what i observed is how i would say traumatic or how these hospitals and i always tell people a hospital hospice is where people go to die um, these governmental systems or all these things that again was created on the on deception manipulation all these these you know I'm not here to say shit that people like or want to accept we are here you know those that are aware spiritually of who you are and knowing you are here to shatter the illusion you are here to shake shit up because that's a part of honoring your truth and so me realizing this whole concept of these governmental systems some may call it the matrix some may call it whatever it is but being conscious aware of how it was created to keep you know families or i like to say tribes or, or keep people divided keep people in this uh illusion or this you know this 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 place of you know this this lost place um and even and the funny thing about it is like it's been in a dark place it's been in a wicked place people know there's women there's a lot of people that know what really goes on in these places and i say that because when she was telling me how uh they went to classes and you know they do everything and so how this um <laughs> birds look how these birds how these um how the process was everything was it you know she didn't want to experience with her with her kids even cutting the umbilical cord she didn't want a certain doctor to be in there you know and i was just like wow so i'm able to listen to this then it brings me back to the awareness of what my mother went through another sister that i know uh um feminine aspect of who i am i know you know i was in a connection what she experienced um, and then also what uh, my partner experienced with, uh, you know, our uh, uh, creation, our uh, star seed or child, you know, however you want to say it. But the thing about that is, is that um, I realized why I had to experience those things. Because I realized our women... And this is why the focus is, when I say, when Spirit is saying that this is why the focus is so much of, has been on the woman, the woman, and the child, is because anything that keeps them from the natural aspect of be them being in balance, them being in flow, them honoring their femininity. And see, this is what has happened, and this is what, as I was expressing to the sister today, like the spiritual aspect of we're being people have been so focused on the physical aspect of life that whatever has happened in the physical does not go unseen in the spiritual. So these things that have happened in these in these governmental places, all this wickedness, it all these things will be exposed. For instance, my mom you know, told me about her story and I had no knowledge of this. How, when she was giving birth to me, that how, um, you know, my dad was present, 
but after she gave birth to me and you know the doctor that was there was she screamed because my dad wasn't there but the doctor was playing in her insides meaning after she gave birth the doctor was playing inside of her and she screamed and my and the dad my dad ran in there to you know basically apprehend or whatever it is this is not the first time this has happened and this is to a lot of women women that know this has been ongoing even to the fact that i know sisters that people that have told stories about how and you can google it it ain't even, it ain't even about this i'm gonna say what i what i feel and what spirit has caused me to feel where mothers have received babies that wasn't theirs or even the traumatic experience of what women go through in the hospital or what have they've experienced and how this trauma and how this pain that they don't express have been lingering through their bodies for years, even with their ancestors. How all of this was to create chaos and confusion and manipulation. How important it is for, um, you know, what I saw with my partner, because I'm going to get back into another subject, like what I saw with my partner. What I had to witness is what I'm here now. I realize spirit, you know, the creator allowed me to, to see the depths. It, I had to go inwardly because if I see everything begins with the woman, I have to realize what she experienced. I, too, as the son, then growing into the father, then again having a daughter, I, too, feel these things. Because that's the energetic cores or that's the that's the trauma that has been passed through the womb of the great mother, meaning all creation, meaning all humanity. As much as people want to look at color, when you look at race, that's only one race, that's humanity. What I saw when this sister telling me how they, you know, how they cut her before her baby actually wanted to get here. A lot of women do not have the courage to speak about this, but let me tell you, I comprehend, I understand, and it has nothing to do with me, you know, you know, saying that I had to have a child. No, I saw the importance of me being there to experience, you know, a, a baby coming through the womb. That was a spiritual aspect of creation of the Trinity, uh, man, woman, and child. And seeing it from a spiritual place and seeing that how now that this mental crisis that's gonna arise has everything to, to do with the womb and what has happened through the wombs, through the wombs of creation and how all of us has gotten here. Seeing the fact of how um, when we go into this place, seeing how she was treated. And as much as, and a lot of this has to do with, you know, it's not so much that people are focused on what's really going on. No, your focus is getting that child or that being here through ease. And you're, you're working hand in hand. This is what people don't talk about. This is why this divine knowledge is given to us so we don't abuse it. People have abused their power in the past, the powers that no longer are. The spirit represents the holistic way. Because spirit is works hand in hand with the physical. That represents the whole aspect. That's what makes us who we are physically. Is a part of what being in spirit is. In the past, is all that shit that has to do with, oh, half of this and half of this, or getting half truths, but whole lies in a sense. I'm here to tell you, you've been accepting, you've been in the illusion of accepting the lie. And so now in these moments, the truth, everyone is not going to be accepted, never because it's going to shatter and shake their, um, their, their reality. Because the world has been accepting the lies of people that are mentally ill, accepting the lies of, you know, all this, you know, dark and wickedness has been going on. They've been accepting the lies because it's so easy to accept the lies. But now when the light arrives and the truth arrives, 
a lot of people are not going to be accepting to it. This is a part of what we know is a spiritual awakening, the great awakening. Very few are aware of this. What I saw my, my reflection go through, my partner go through, where you're seeing a woman that's giving birth. And as I'm observe, uh, sitting observing, and I'm like, wow, the strength of a woman to bring forth a life. And it's not to separate the man. The womb man is that you come together as one when you exchange energy to co-create. This whole, you know, this, and see, it's so traumatic to where it goes back to how the dividing of the father, removing the spirit, and then how now, how that is, has evolved into even in a lot of uh, hospitals where you don't see the father being there. That's what it's created for. The system to get fathers, you know, thrown into these prison systems, put them on child support, put them on all these things, keep them in these places to keep them away from the, the 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 whole meaning of the Trinity, the whole meaning of um of what it is to be whole from that experience. This is why you're seeing me being there, seeing my partner like, you know, push. And I'm expressing to, you know, the sister, let me get this all get this uh um uh, oh push. <laughs> Funny. That's a country life. But anywho, the sister uh um go going back to the where I just uh had this encounter, the sister was saying like I like, did you have a natural birth? She said no, we was in a hospital. And just listening to the experience, it's not centered around love. These places are not centered around love, they're centered around deception and business and to to keep people in that loop. The medical industry is that medical, temporary, fix, you know, anything that is not of the holistic way, which is the natural birth. We are made up of water, but women are having natural birth. You know, that baby comes through the canal, down the water, comes birth into water. It's so deep to where, again, and, and so I'm speaking to her and then she was like, you know, how the, the man didn't, she, her, her husband wanted to cut the umbilical cord. Then the doctor basically said, no, he basically, and it's not so much of that. He wanted to do everything and not allow the father. Because again, a lot of this people don't speak about, but it's important. But I also expressed to her like a lot of our women and women don't know that the placenta is created first before the embryo. The placenta represents the tree of life. That's why it looks like a tree. And then the baby is actually, there's minty tubes on there that actually, the baby feeds off these tubes. So the mother and the child are actually helping each other. It gives off, you know, when the mother uh, is, is, her body is shifting, she has to, you know, uh, her hips are spreading. So many things that go on metaphysically this is not just a physical thing see that's what the illusion of what these hospitals and a lot of this stuff has did is that they've given you this illusion of everything is just happening physically you know focus on you know oh get all these clothes get all these things get all these things get prepared they don't know what the divine knows of how that child that child decides when it is ready to come the mother is a is, is a guide for that it goes hand in hand. A lot of this is all divinely orchestrated. So when that those there's many there's different tubes, I don't know how many, that actually that helps the child, you know, feed off these things, that filter out certain things that protects it from um getting ill or whatever it is inside of the womb, because so many things are happening inside of the womb of the woman. The sac, it's so many things inside of there. That nutrients, all these things that, again, women have been told, oh, you cut the umbilical cord. And I expressed to another sister, like, this cuts off the life because that life, that umbilical cord, and most women don't know that. We're talking about lotus birth. They call it a lotus birth, where the from the umbilical cord to the placenta, it's, it's still, the baby comes out with that instead of cutting it. See, they cut this shit. 
And it's like a disconnection from source or what we know as creation. It's so much more out here. And I realize I have to say this as a masculine because this is what the knowledge spirit has given me. I have to see. I cannot unseen what the fuck I've seen. This is the beauty of it. This is why a lot of masculine have been, you know, been to themselves because spirit has given them things to rise up now. Because so much of our women have been in this masculine energy and now all that energy and pain and struggle that you have went through as a woman, you've been on the front forefront. You've been sacrifices. You're doing all these things. Now, this is why spirit is sitting you down. It's so our men know what it is, is to resurrect the sun within us. We have to know what it is to honor the feminine aspect. This is why we have to go through certain relationships with ourselves. Some of us that know what it is to get to this holistic way. To now stand firm in what the true divine masculine is. And on, also honoring that feminine aspect. To be able to express this to you. Me seeing what my partner went through when Ali arrived and how the whole process you know, we went through it where we were dancing, you know, trying to keep her in a, you know, in a, in a place of balance in a way. You know, she went to the, you know, we got in the water for a little bit. But I also, Spirit was like, Be, look how, how much these people were coming in, you know, and, and this is what they're programmed to do, come in. And it's like, it really keeps the woman imbalanced, unstable, keep her in an unstable place mentally. This is what a lot of our women have experienced to their birthing. A lot of them. It don't got nothing to do with so much of the culture and the creed. I'm talking about humanity. Getting them away from what it is to be secure within themselves. No, they're more, then they would have been more focused on, you know, questioning, you know, the worthiness of who they are. Or am I able to do this? You know, it all sitting around fear. Rather than love and security. This is why a lot of these the babies that have come are coming into that trauma. And they mirror that back to you when they arrive. So when I say my partner, when we go, we were going through these steps and how, you know, they call it a midwife. You know, they call these people that come in here. But again, these people have been programmed to do these things. Ultrasound. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff that put stuff that that alters that 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 vibration from the ultrasound actually creates uh you know a, um a electromagnetic wave or whatever you want to call it to make that baby move yes i'm sitting there when i will go there with her and i'm like yo i i don't know why i'm feeling this i'm like yo this is part of me being in tune with the divine feminine aspect I'm like, yo, this is not okay. But saying this to my partner, again, we, we have part, this is what the woman has taken on or thinking that is in alignment or accepted. And see, this is the purpose of why a lot of us had to experience what we experienced with our partner, going through what we're going through with them, to know what it is to be spiritually aligned with source, to see, to be able to witness this and observe this in the physical, now to bring awareness to it. So a part of me wanted to be there, but a part of me had to distance myself to accept the fact of like, this has to happen the way it is. So a part of me even being there, I didn't want to wear a mask. I didn't want to do anything because a part of me knowing that who I am, a part of me knowing who I am, I, didn't, I don't care to be nothing of like, like anything of this world. Because it was all created on deception. Some of us know that. That honoring that spirit of discernment. That's within me knowing my worthiness within. Seeing her go through that, you know, experiencing all these things. And I'm sitting observing as she's going through what they call uh, contractions and all these things. And, and, and I'm like, wow, okay. And, and then seeing that process... Then seeing like, I know she's not the first mother to go through this. 
seeing how like they, they come in all these different people, different nurses, you know, they're learning their process of, oh, we got to do it this way. And oh, we got to take blood. You're draining this woman of her oxygen because blood is oxygen. Everything is in the blood. You're draining her of all of her like resources. Then you kick her the fuck out in two or three, four days. How is that anything of normal? How? To my women, to my warriors, to those that, again, that has nothing to do with being strong. I had to experience that because a part of me, the spirit wanted me to experience that to see what she was going through. Then when Aaliyah got here, the first thing they do is run in. Oh, let me get her. Let me weigh her and do all this. I'm like, how the fuck is all of this normal? It's not in any shape or form. Our ancestors, they would have babies by next to a tree. They would give birth next in nature. They would be connected to nature. The flow of life. I'm not saying go out there and have one in or do. no. You have to see how things have evolved to keep people mentally in this in the, in the, in this in control to keep them how all this documents, birth certificates, all this stuff is to keep people in this illusion of control. Now this whole system is no more. It's the end of that. I'm here to let you know. And this is what's going to send people into a psychological loop. You know, a, a mental place of where they thought everything that they thought was okay and accepting. is the opposite of that. It has nothing to do with the spirit. Because the spirit is everything that is interconnected. And connects us all. This is why we're all coming into this awareness. People are awakening, having their, you know, these things happening. This is why the, a part of the divine mother has taken her rightful throne in a holistic way. Yes, a part of this is going to come with resistance. 